someone that studies computer science might go, hold on, you're lying to me about this thing not being uh, solvable in polynomial time that we know of. I have some solutions. So I gave you some solutions here. If I wanted to find, if a, uh, if I wanted to determine if a graph had an independent set of size five, what I could do is just write code that looks at every single possible set of five. So here I loop over all possible sets of five vertices. And then for each pair within that set, I check if it's an edge. This is a very reasonable thing. We're using our ability to verify, our ability to verify, and we're doing it with set five. And this would take how many possible sets are there? Well, there's n choose five. There are n choose five possible sets, which this is equal to n factorial over n minus five factorial over five factorial. And you can compute that if you want. This turns out to be a polynomial that is in big O of n to the fifth. And what is the cost of each run here? Well, there are two to the five pairs, and each run costs six, so this is in C times two to the five times N choose five. Oops, N choose five. So, looks like it should work out. But notice the independent set did not have a fixed value. It had a K. And we want to determine if there's an independent set of size K for any K. K is part of the input. Therefore, big old end of the k is actually a deplorable runtime because it's exponential in our input, which is k. So this is not an polynomial time algorithm. It is a polynomial time algorithm if you fixed the size of the independent set, but we are not fixing that size. So this is worth mentioning. This is not a polynomial time solution because the size of the independent set is part of the input.